Welcome to the Pro Kitchen version 5.6 introduction video tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to take a quick look at all the new features that we've introduced for Pro Kitchen version 5.6. So, to get started off here, we're going to take a look at one of the features that I'm most excited about, and this is our one click groups, lasso, and move. So, to do this, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit on my little design here. I am going to lasso this guy. And to do this, I'll do it again in slow motion for those of you who didn't see that fast slide of hand that I pulled here. To do this, all you got to do is move your mouse outside of the area you want to lasso. Hold down your left mouse button, drag your mouse to build your box or your lasso. So here we go, we've got it lassoed. Now all you need to do is move your mouse onto anything that has been lassoed, so anything that's red or even the wall that's outlined in blue hold down your left mouse button and move when you get to where you want it let go and there she is you don't like it there you can move it back if you want there we go so that's one click and then just simply click off of it anywhere with a single left click and it will go ahead and unlasso that so now you can't move everything I'm gonna lasso this guy again we're gonna take look at the next feature. I mean, while we were here with this cool little lasso feature, we figured we'd add a few fun things to it. So we can come in here, we can go down to our selection, I've lassoed it, I right click to get my um, group, and now I'm going to come down here and I can create a group. It's always been this way, but if you remember when you're trying to save a solution, you'd have to create a group, then you'd have to come back and right click on that group and then choose save it to solution. Well, now you can just simply save to solution right from here. And you can just save it up like this. Put whatever description you want in there, any notes you want. Um, shows us what catalog we are in here. And there it is. Now if I come over here to my solutions, my categories, small kitchen number one. So that makes that really quick and really easy and really more efficient than it used to be. Okay, the next feature that we've introduced is automatic toe kick. Um, now we've had this feature, so we haven't really reintroduced it. We've just changed it up a little bit. Um, we're going to go to our design settings. That's where this is located. And our moldings tab. And here's our toe kick. Um, kitchen compact. That's what my design's in, so we'll just leave it there. But you'll notice it used to be you know, just these two ones that we have here in blue. This used to be your selection. We've opened it up so you can add batten mold, scribe mold, um, OG, quarter round, pretty much any of the moldings that you would, um, traditional trim, any of these guys that you would typically use maybe for some decorative toe kick, they should be in your catalogs now. Um, now they may not be immediately in your catalog. Um, once you download 5.6, if it's not in your catalog, if it's not in there working, you just gonna have to wait till the next catalog update because some of these things are catalog specific. So, so that was our automatic toe kick. Um, the next one here that we're gonna look at is pretty fun too. We're gonna zoom in so we get a little closer image of our our uh, dimensions. We're gonna play with our dimensions a little bit. Um, <clears throat> First one we're going to take a look at, I want you to look up over here, we've got some dimensions over here. We've got 18 inches, we've got a 1 inch filler, and we've got a 9 inch cabinet. Now I'm going to slide my countertop out of the way, I guess. I'm going to leave my countertop where it's at, and I am going to grab this little cabinet, and I'm going to drag it. I'm just going to drag it over just a little bit. Now in the past, we would have had a whole cluster of dimensions up here but now it automatically detects when a dimension is going to uh, collide with another dimension and it'll move it up or if we had another one it would move it on down so that you get your dimensions stacked in around here making it much much easier to locate your dimensions and understand where they're at and all that good stuff. Um, while we were in here playing with dimensions we made a few other changes that are kind of fun. Uh, we can come in here and we're just going to take this this um, we'll do this guy right here, our middle dimension line. We can right click on our dimension line. We can actually edit these individually. We can edit them as a group as well, but we can edit them individually if you want to. We'll take a look at the group edit in a few minutes. Slide down here to nomenclature. 
we've got 45 degree clockwise come back in here 45 degree counterclockwise 90 degrees clockwise 90 degree counterclockwise and we're going to set this guy back to default uh, we can come in here and our measurements again oops I'm getting off the screen now let's try this guy let's try over here a little bit so everybody gets to see what I'm doing we can come in here and we can select our 24 inch we can select any of them as they go through up here we've got a few options we can move it we can rotate it we can default it if I choose this 24 and I choose to rotate it's going to give us just this but it's only going to be for that particular dimension so we could come up here like for your 11 16 and we could rotate that guy say tilt it in there make it look like you know it's coming from from down in there so um, here we go I'm going to go to move to show you how this works and here you can just take that dimension if it's not quite in the right spot for you and you can move it to wherever you want it to be which is kind of cool and I'm gonna slide my screen up just a little bit for this next one I'm gonna right click on our 114 inch line here go to our dimensions and our nomenclature and we're going to go to move. That's what I wanted. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Okay, what well, I grabbed the wrong move. I really wanted to grab this move. Now, before in the past, this move is pretty chunky and clunky and miserable. We've redefined how that moves, makes it much, much easier to um, change those around. And now we'll take a look at how to set these as an overall so I'm going to zoom back out I'm going to right click on my grid work I'm going to choose display settings in this case and measurements here we've got default and here's all of our, measure, or our rotations here so I can do a 45 degree clockwise okay there everything's changed up to a nice 45 degree clockwise measurement All right, the next one we're going to take a look at here is in 3D. Create a quick 3D for us here. And zoom out just a little bit. Move this guy up so it's nice and centered in our screen. Now you'll notice in our 3D here that my styles and rails on all of my cabinets are all the same size. For those of you who had eagle eyes out there, you may have noticed in the past that as our cabinets got taller or wider the styles and rails stretched accordingly well we've gone ahead and we've uh, spent some actually some serious time figuring out how to get it so that it doesn't do that so that everything's nice and square and even and the same gives you a much much classier three-dimensional view alright our next one we're gonna take a look at our um, our view over here you, you may have noticed that in version 5 we changed our view over here um, our product navigator our catalog ha has changed a little bit um, if you don't like that you can switch between that and just right click on it we're going to choose display settings again no oh, I'm sorry we want default settings alright default settings and right here we've got appearance modern or classic modern or classic now if we click on the little button with the three dots in it here for some reason it always comes up below the screen on my computer anyways it's because of the way I have to record these um, here we've got the classic view you remember we had the design panel the info panel the edit panel and the catalog well in the modern info and edit have been rolled into the same and they switch as you use whichever function so you can clean out up over over there a little bit and to switch between them just click up there we're gonna leave mine the way it is because that's the way I like it but you guys can certainly feel free to play with it at your own discretion and okay to get us back out of there and okay I'm gonna click on my base cabinet here we're gonna take a look and we're gonna screech all the way down there to attributes under attributes modifications Reva shelf cabinet catalog we have added 150 additional Reva shelf products in here 
So you've got a more expanded Revit Shelf catalog in Pro Kitchen version 5.6. Um, we have also done a fun little thing here with our corner cabinets. I'm just going to grab one, drop it out here on the layout. Maybe. I'm going to go to the attributes again. I apologize for you not being able to see that, but it drops onto the rest of my screen and off of my recording area. And we're going to go to modifications and special modification. Now, the special modification we've got in here, it seems we have two of them at the moment. We'll have to fix that. But special modification um, with the little asterisk here, this is. Um, these are modifications that you can apply to any cabinet, whether your manufacturer does it or not. Now, be careful because your manufacturer may not do these modifications and you may get yourself in trouble. But if you're doing more of a custom kind of thing, then we've got the setup for you. Um, here's our corner cabinet sides, length, and so we're going to add it. Just click on it here, click add. And I'm going to come in here and we're with number one. And you see how I'm changing that up? There we go. I've just made that 36 by 24. OK. And OK. And here we go. 36 by 24. Kind of a fun little feature. Now, let me grab a normal wall cabinet here and drop out here. And we'll take a look at the next fun little feature we have. There we go. Here's a 33 inch. Get that guy out of the way. I'm going to come in here and we're going to right click and I'm going to go to attributes again. Modifications. We're going to go back to our special modification and we're going to convert wall to base. Here what we're doing. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do an up down on this guy. Gonna set the bottom of it at zero. Enter on my keyboard to save it there. We're gonna create a 3D. And it doesn't look like I saved. <laughs> okay, I didn't save it. It didn't go down where it's supposed to, but alright, let's redo it. That's just insane. In out, up, down. go. There we go. Now it stayed. I think. Yep, there it is. Alright, we're going to zoom out just a little bit. And what we did is we took that wall cabinet and we converted it to a base cabinet by adding toe kick. So this is a great solution for, now obviously it's not going to come from the factory that way, but how many times have you done an island? or you've taken wall cabinets and you've lined the back of a, an island with wall cabinets or maybe the whole island is only made out of wall cabinets had your contractor go in there they had to build a toe kick well they're going to have to do the same thing but it sure is going to show up a whole lot easier on your plans now alright we're getting down to just about got them here we've got one more we've got notes for our comments in our library so what we've done is we've taken our comments and we've added a library to these and I'm going to add a comment here and I'm going to click out here to add it. There we go. And here you can see we can enter a new comment or select from my comment list. So our new comment, whoops. If you just hit backspace because it was already highlighted blue, instead of clicking on it like I did, if you just hit backspace on your keyboard, it would have wiped it all out for you. Um, let's do comment number two. And I can just go down here and hit OK, and it's going to add it. Or if I want to save this, con it's, it, if I hit OK, it's going to add it out here to our plan. If I hit Add, it's going to add it down in here. Now here I can come down and choose whichever one I want. Now whatever comment is up here in the top, this is the one that's going to be placed. So. I want Kitchen Island, select it. We can change where we want it. It can be in all views or just selected views. So we can take our views and these views correlate to our views down here. So we definitely want it in view one. We can change all of our font and our text and all that good stuff. We're just going to leave it the way it is for our purposes here. I'm going to click OK, Kitchen Island. I want to move that guy. 
comment, move. Hey, stay. There we go. Helps if you do the right click. I mean, the left click instead of the right click. So, anyways, there we have it. In a nutshell, we've pretty much covered all of the new introductions for Pro Kitchen version 5.6. I hope uh, that this little tutorial gets you using them. Um, and uh, please enjoy these. And we look forward to uh, the next set for 5.7. Thank you. Have a great day.